I recently met with uh, um, w- with a guy who's now uh, I would consider a friend. Um, this guy, a Bitcoin rabbi, right? So he's a Hasidic Jew uh, who wrote a book, um, but it's a children's book, and it describes the very complex topics around Bitcoin awesome. and blockchain awesome. for you know, such like a five year old. Right, it's kind of a story. It's perfect. Meet this person. His name is Satoshi. Nobody really knows anything about Satoshi, right? Blah blah. blah whatever. <laughs> As I was reading through this book, it hit me like this gentleman understands Bitcoin and blockchain technology better than most because he's yeah. had to distill it down to the most simple terminology so that a five year old could understand it. So it's a good good way to doing that. Absolutely. Right? And so when you go on television or you do podcasts or anything with a public audience. The way I look at it is you're basically talking to five-year-olds, yeah. right? Not, not because the people on the other end aren't intelligent yeah. or sophisticated. It's that you have to relay a very complex topic yeah. in the you know kind of most simple terms possible. It's also about being respectful to people because people don't have the time like us to read for many, many hours. Maybe of they course. have children. Maybe they have things to do, a life. Let's say that, uh, and I'm not saying this, but, but some people would say, uh, take 1% of your net worth, right, and put it into Bitcoin. Well, that means that the person should spend 99% of their time focused on other things than Bitcoin. Exactly. <laughs> right? It's only 1%. So like if, if their portfolio is a proxy for how they spend their time in terms of thinking on exactly. the finance side, yeah. this is like the smallest thing, right? Yeah. So they need to be very efficient in the use of their time and understanding it because yeah. it's only 1% of their time.